Not really a tourist destination, huh? I'm your host Yusuf, and these are 10 scary laws in North Korea you should never break. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Anyways, let's run the jewels. Number 10, no music. North Koreans are not allowed to listen to foreign music or watch foreign movies, as both are considered criminal activities. In 2015, the country's dictator Kim Jong-un decreed to destroy all cassette tapes and CDs that contained songs that the state had outlawed. The sentence depends on the location of the film's origin. Watching an American movie could result in execution, while watching an Indian movie could result in imprisonment. Furthermore, the distribution of a adult films could lead to the execution penalty. In North Korea, there are only three TV channels, and the government controls all of the content. Two of these stations are only available on weekends, while the other airs in the evenings. So no Taylor Swift for these people, unless she is singing about how great Kim Jong-un is. And still after that, probably not. Number 9, No Calls. Making international calls is considered a crime in North Korea, so local citizens cannot make international calls or even to a foreigner in the country. All local SIM cards only allow calls within the nation. In 2007, a North Korean factory owner was executed by firing squad in front of 150,000 spectators after being charged with making international calls on 13 phones that he installed in a factory basement. Number 8. No Wi-Fi North Korea has a portal to state-run propaganda, not the World Wide Web. Nevertheless, it is more of an intranet named Kwang Myong, not quite the internet. All foreign websites are blocked, and if you are not a high-ranking person, you will never be permitted to access them. In its most recent version, the native operating system Red Star has a Mac OS X-like feel to it. They say that it was done because of Kim Jong-un's fondness for Apple products. Wi-Fi is basically non-existent. Kwang Myung is not even accessible on mobile devices. Chinese tablets made for North Korea don't have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth components. They are just not required. Number 7. No Bibles The Bible is seen as a representation of Western culture and is therefore forbidden because it can transform people. Although North Korea claims to have freedom of religious belief, thousands have been tormented for doing so. One Christian woman who was handing out Bibles was detained and executed. An American tourist in North Korea in 2014 with the name Jeffrey Fowle was detained and held for five months after he left his Bible in the restroom of an eatery at the Chongjin Sailors Club. Number 6. No Haircuts if you need a haircut, make sure to pick one of the 28 hairstyles that the government has approved. You heard that correctly. All men and women in North Korea are required to wear one of the 28 official hairstyles that the government has authorized, as all other hairstyles are forbidden in the nation. The government considers spiked hair to be defiant, so it is strictly prohibited. Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, introduced the legislation in 2013, but he did not include his own hairstyle in order to keep it distinctive. Number 5. No Blasphemy under Kim Jong-un's rule, every North Korean must pledge allegiance and obedience to him, his family, and the government. Any act that could be a discernible affront to the Kim family by the North Korean administration is viewed as blasphemy and punishes offenders harshly. This holds true both for visitors and emigrants from North Korea. Anything that might be construed as a threat or offense will result in incarceration or even execution. Many are also acquainted with the story of Otto Warmbier, an American citizen and student who was detained at Pyongyang International Airport while waiting to leave the country after attempting to steal a billboard from his hotel room while visiting North Korea as part of a guided tour group. Warm beer was imprisoned, released in a vegetative condition, and passed away shortly thereafter in June 2017. Number 4. No Leaving 
You might be perplexed as to why North Koreans do not just escape in the face of such harsh laws. Well, it's because they can't. Citizens of North Korea are not allowed to leave the country, and frontier guards will shoot anyone who does so without official documents. For those who attempt to flee or hide from Kim's totalitarian control, the most severe punishment is almost always execution. However, travel limitations are also applicable within the country. You require permission in order to travel to see family in another town or hamlet. Number 3. Living in Camps in North Korea, it is believed that around 200,000 citizens are living in camps. They were detained for alleged political offenses. Every member of a person's family is interned if they perpetrate a political crime. A prisoner's entire family would be executed if he managed to escape. Malnutrition ends 40% of the inmates housed in these concentration camps. Many of them receive what appears to be fair sentences for hard labor, but they frequently end up working themselves until their demise. Number 2. No calling it North Korea Tourists who visit North Korea should refer to the country as the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, or the DPRK. North Koreans prefer that you call their country by its official title, as this shows that you acknowledge the country's view of itself as the superior and legitimate Korean government. Surrounded by deep valleys and mountainous terrain, DPRK is one of the most isolated and notoriously secretive countries in the world. It welcomes only several thousands of visitors each year. Year. Number 1. No Jeans Tourists cannot bring the following items into the DPRK. Standalone GPS devices, adult content, drones, magazines, newspapers, religious texts, or any print or digital resources about North Korea or South Korea. Take note that if you do bring your mobile phone, you cannot make any international calls in North Korea as we talked about earlier. Surprisingly, blue jeans aren't allowed into the country either. Denim jeans, which were invented by Jacob Davis and Levi Strauss in 1873, are considered to be a symbol of capitalist America. You can still wear black jeans, but you will be asked to change into more appropriate clothing when visiting the statues of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong II. Thanks for watching. Those were 10 terrifying laws you should never break in North Korea. Leave a like and comment if you think we missed anything, and we hope you have a scary day.